the real cost is like the bajillion D services and then, oh, hey, you know, you need a charger, you need a car charger, you need a phone case, a screen protector, you need, you know, monthly fees and, you know, extra service plan. Like, I'd be like, it's only $9.99 for the service plan. But what you're paying, but but you get your bill and it's $50 and you're like, why is it $50 a month? And it's like, oh, well, there's the contract fee. There's the, uh, there's the convenience fee. That's a really big one. Convenience fees are absolute bullshit. Convenience fee. You know what a convenience fee is? It's at your convenience. Here's a fee. You know, there, there is nothing to it. There is no like, um, we provided this service, so here's the fee, or we gave you this product, so here's the bill. It's literally like, look at all this convenience we gave you. We mailed your bill to you. Look at that convenience. Now that we mailed your bill to you, it was $20 for us to mail this bill to you. So that'll be $20 a month again. Thank you. It's, 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 man, I freaking hate convenience fees because it's so vague. It's so such a vague like uh, like like label like how do you how do you quantify that and the reason the answer is you can't it's so vague that when you ask about it they're like oh yeah that's just you know for random stuff and it's like what random stuff like take this shit off my bill you know just tell me what my fee is for getting the service but the, yeah this isn't even have like this isn't even a scam it's just business it's like normal freaking companies do this crap all the time ah uh, an email. Hello again, sir. This is Tanabe from Happy Net 9 Have you come to a conclusion regarding your modem contract? Damn, I forgot I gave them my email. I guess this isn't as over as I hoped. There's a key around here somewhere. You know, I'm right by the lockers. Let's go check them out for... Well... Uh... Eh, we'll come back. An email. What do you wish to do about your contract, sir? Please be advised there will be quite a large cancellation fee if you opt out. <laughs> the language they're using is getting more and more suspicious. Man, I'm getting an email like nobody's business over here. They're really fast. They're really fast about emails. Ima imagine, imagine calling someone and then like, you're like, I'm not sure about this. Like, oh, but contracts. And then they just like spam email you as soon as you say no. Oh, everybody's beat up. Is all this rage coming from personal experience? It's not rage. I'm not raging at all. But yes, well, I, I have been tricked into a lot of these, like, convenience fees things. Like, you sign up for... Cell phone service was one of the big ones. It was... Uh, when I when I was doing this, it was, like, really an important time when I had very, very little money to my name. And I think it was a company called Cricket or something. They, were, like, advertised lots of, you know, low payments and stuff, and... I was like, well, this is right up my alley. And they're like, ah, just kidding. Look at all these extra hidden fees just for you. I think Rick Cricket was in, ended up being bought up by like T-Mobile or something. Hey bros, what's up? Boom. <laughs> I mean, a lot of a lot of the way companies make their money is through those hidden fees and stuff, you know. Because you're locked in the contract. What are you gonna do? And then they do the same thing. The whole cancellation fee. You know, that's like. Like the cancellation fee will end up being like uh, more than the service that you, you're buying. So it's like, well, I might as well just pay the service and get the service because I'm going to be locked in this cancellation fee anyway. But I mean, you got to make your own like smart choices, you know, like if, if you feel something's off then you know, ask the right questions. Just ask the right questions. I mean, look, you can't live your life without without signing a contract. You just can't. It's, it's not possible. Unless unless you have somebody to sign the contracts for you, you know what I mean? Like if you just live with someone that can that can do it for you, then great, that's lucky. Nobody, most people don't have that though. But generally speaking, you're gonna need a phone or power or rental agreement or something. 
Unless you're homeless, you're going to have to sign a contract of, of some kind at some point. A phone is optional, sure. For some people, not for everyone. Well, I mean, smartphones are pretty damn useful. I, I honestly, I couldn't live without a smartphone. It would not be possible for me to like do the things that I do without a smartphone. I use it way too much and it's way too useful to me. And, and honestly, you just have a phone instead of a home phone and it's about the same price these days. Uh, so with, of course, you know, more options and more services. So I mean, to me, it's a no brainer, but you know, Teach their own. Like even if I didn't need it for what I do, uh, I would still want one. Just, just have it. こんなことをして、ただじゃ済まないよ。もう勝負はついたんですよ。姉さん、あなたがルスの間。一仕事させてもらいましたよ。戦国に買収されたそうだな。これでもう登場会の現体制は崩壊です。あなたの小細工で右往左往するような登場会じゃないわ。いや。自分には聞こえるんです。登場会が音を立てて変わっていく。I get immense amount of entertainment out of my phone plus I have social media on the go so I mean it's pretty much Limitless value that I get from it personally. <laughs> Plus directions when you travel, you have information at your fingertips. It's invaluable to me. Completely invaluable. But again, I mean, you know, you don't go into the wrong contract and then. Oi. Okay, that guy did not make it. Damn. What's up, Marie? Thank you for the 30 months of Twitch Prime. Oh my god, everybody's just getting hit. Holy shit. <gasps> Holy crap. しかしくねえのか。てめえが世話になった登場会を売り渡すような真似をして。売り渡しはしませんよ。私が次会長の座について、ついでに姉さんを自分のものにします。何を言ってるんだい。俺はね、姉さん。前からあんたに惚れていた
私はずっと堂島宗平という男だけを見続けていた死んだ今でも気持ちは同じさ死んだ聞いたろ好きになった男を愛し続けることができるそれが女の強さだそんな能書きはどうでもいいですよ欲しいものを力で奪うそれだけですそんなことは俺が許さねえ受けて立ちましょうあんたの首取って登場界の跡目を継ぐそして俺は姉さんを手にするんだ時代は変わるんですよ Oh, let's heal up. This is probably gonna be a rough fight. Have a seat. That's all it took for him to run away, was a chair. Listen, I need this. I really need this. It's mine. Good at this, are you? I was kind of hoping I could grab that. It just like took it out of my hand and then like dropped it and it broke. I was I was trying to press triangle to activate a freaking thing and it's just like nah. Don't stab me, ow. Hold on, I'll be back. I just need to find something to smash your face with. Ah, let's take out the trash, shall we? He just like auto counters me or something? Oh, okay, okay. That sword is a real crutch! You know that? <laughs>
you all right? Hey. Yeah. <gasps> Let's go check on Daigo and Kashimaga. Come on. I mean, you're not gonna like that's. I think the 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 freaking worst thing about like movies or games like this is they never check the pulse. Like, make sure he's freaking dead. You know. Like, people like this, they need to be made sure they are dead because they will just try to get as much revenge as human, humanly possible. You know what I mean? They will never stop being that thorn in your side. You make sure he's dead. Always double tap. Yeah, exactly, right? Make sure they're dead, cut off the head. Well, I mean, yeah, there's always that. I don't. I think that's a little barbaric. You don't need to cut off their freaking head. It's little much but I mean you could definitely penetrate their chest you know and just or just check their pulse you know that's that works too the pulse is you know pretty good telling factor hey what do you know he's still alive he's charging up gotta charge you down ま、思って絶縁だ。とっとと出ておき。てめえの欲で組をめちゃくちゃにしやがって。ぶっ殺してやる。情けない。申し訳ございませんでした。お前の責任じゃない。正面から来るのならまだしも。こうも裏をかかれちゃ、手の打ちようがないだろう。いいかい。なイデンスカラズクで叩き出せと。ジェム。はい。オナーエンバトレイオトロフィー。ファイズストーリーライントロフィー。I'm but I'm not 100%ing it. Not a hard 100% anyway. Just kind of trying to experience a lot of the th things, not avoiding anything. What? 
ちょっと表の様子を見てきたまだ誰にも気づかれてねえみてえだ13号資料室なんかに近づく人間はそうはいねえだろうついにその事件にたどり着いたかさすがだ知ってたのかこの事件をああ最後のページを見てみろ河原さんと府警の別所さんがああ俺たちが担当したんだあんたこの事件を知ってて今回の捜査に参加したのかああ公安の倉橋は人言派を探ってると耳にして捜査の協力を申し出たんだなぜ俺はその事件に借りがあるんだ借りもう俺の役目は終わったあとはお前に任せるどういうことだわけは聞くな河原さん Might just be raspberry jam, yeah. Maybe you should lick it and find out. I know Jingo Hanojik and Okachonga Tanto Stata. The Kotoa Kashiwagi San Nite, the Tanto Kaji, the Unua. Ah, Bishop Sunda. Hontoni? Majigane. Gokino Shiro in Namaga Nota. Kara no Samo, so it did. But as Niva, so Nakoto Hitokoto Mite Nakatano. カウラさんは俺にこれを渡して事件から降りたどういうことだわからんだがあのおっさんまだ何かを握ってるのは確かだどうやらこの事件に借りがあるらしい借りかどうしたんだ Don't you know getting cooties is cool nowadays? どうしてカチョンが？記録によると、当時カムロ社の四階にいた別所さんは、同時マグミの動きを察知していた。Peach Club, look, it's a peach, it's a butt. 裏で手を回して事件を黙認したらしい。つまりカチョンがヤクザを利用したのね。カムロ町の治安を回復させるには一番手っ取り早い方法だと判断したんだろう。しかし、上層部にそれが漏れて、別所さんは不敬に飛ばされた。伊達さんはもうこの辺で手を引いた方がいい。人言派はただの組織じゃない。深追いすると、命に関わる。それに、警察に追われているんだ。バカ言え、今更後に引けるか。お前、これからどうするんだ合田会長がまだ見つかっていない。龍二を追いかけて関西へ向かう。So we've both got business in Kansai, right? Uh. Yeah. I'm worried about Chairman Goda. All right. Well, I need to get my stuff. Meet me back at Serena later. Mm -hmm. No problem. Hey. I'll call you when I'm ready. See you then. Just need to kill time. Hmm? Email. This is Happy Night Online. We will contact you again soon with further details. They're not going to leave me alone while I have their stupid modem. Guess I have no choice to solve it in but to solve it in person. <laughs> that one garbage bag just flew up in the air like whoosh. Hello? Greetings, sir. This is Tanaba from Happy Net Online regarding the contract you signed earlier. Go on. If you can spare us a few moments of your time today, we would love for you to come and ask your questions in person. 
char. I can do that. That way I can give you back your damn modem. Oh, we look forward to your arrival, sir. We're located on the same building as the Lullaby Mahjong on the third floor. I know where that is. I'll see you soon. Wonderful, sir! That's actually good because it's like right here, yeah. We get to go on the shady porn building. Or is it Love Bunny Sexy Club? Oh yeah, this is the McDonald's of Hostess Clubs. I, I remember this one. <laughs> I remember this one. It's like your, your normal like club or whatever. Uh, but like, uh, it's super cheap. Just these cheap stalls and it's like tiny little room and whatever. There's there's no class whatsoever. Yeah, it's Mc McCabaret. That's what we called it. McCabaret. <laughs> the McDonald's and Cabaret Clubs. <laughs> Jade, thank you for the uh, four months of Twitch Prime. Thank you. Did I play Mahjong? I tried to for like two hours and I failed because I hate Mahjong and it sucks. Ugh. It does suck. The rules are freaking arbitrary and stupid, and there's way too much to remember. It's overly complicated. I hate it. Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, how can I help you today? <coughs> Name's Kiryu. I'm here to talk about my Moto contract. Ah, yes. Uh, Kiryu-san, it's me, Tanabe. We spoke on the phone, remember? Please, right this way. What I mean by that is like, it's like, nothing really seems to make sense with itself, you know? It's just like, it just, uh, it just seems annoying and frustrating and doesn't make sense. Complexity adds a flair. No, complexity adds to lack of being able to actually understand it. That's all. It, it, it all, all complexity is without any, without like, there, it, a good game, any good game is easy to learn, hard to master. Poker is easy to learn, hard to master. That's why it's good. That's why it's popular. People like poker because it's easy. It makes sense. It's intuitive. You know, hey, pairs and straights win, suits win, you know, and then there's just a tier of, of rareness that equals higher value. Simple, easy, you know, complex just for the sake of complex. You know, it's like you need to wear a red bandana when there's a crescent moon on the fifth day of the 27th month of the year of, of, of the butterfly. Uh, and then in your, and you stand on one leg spinning around counterclockwise uh, with a wrench uh, on a uh, duct tape to your forehead, you know, and that is move one. And then the second move, you, it's just like, you just, you can't memorize all that crap unless you're a freaking, ma like you have to be a master just to play it. You know, you have to be a master just to play it. That's stupid. That makes it an un uninteresting game. Some people really like that arbitrary complexity just for the sake of complexity. But generally speaking, the vast majority of people can't be involved in something like that because they, like, let's, uh, w the only way to draw attention to something is to make it accessible. That's why World of Warcraft was insanely uh, popular. It has accessibility. It's easy to get into World of Warcraft and just play it. You can just play it and, and the, the, the content is accessible to you. you no, yes, you, dude, I, I, I spent there for two hours reading rules and playing the game and I understood almost nothing of how to play Mahjong. And I, and I used to play chess. Like tournaments and stuff like that, and, and 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 freaking like lots of board games and other games and stuff, competition, you know. And mahjong can just die fire. It's complex just for the sake of complex. 
So in total, that comes out to uh, 15,000 yen a month with a 5,000 yen service fee for any additional support you require. That's more expensive than I care to pay. I don't plan on using the internet much, so pay